What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you all, today, we are going to be ranking all the Scream films in the franchise. You guys asked for it. So here we go. Um, I'm excited. And like I always say, Scream is the most consistent franchise in horror. Um, it has a lot of, you know, hiccups in it, but... It kind of makes up for that, you know, when they come out with super cool films like the one we just seen days ago, Scream 6. But yeah, you all, before we get started, definitely smash the like button because this is going to be a great video. So, you all, want to get started and get into it. Coming in at number six. Now, I know a lot of people out there actually has this as their favorite. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, coming in at number six is Scream 3, you all. So, you know, with Scream 3... For me, it was just like, it was more like, it felt like a, if it, it makes sense, it, it felt like a Scooby-Doo. It felt Scooby-Doo-ish. And, you know, I kind of, like, you know, I, I kind of understand, you know, that's how, you know, Scream sometimes portrays. But it was too, you know, Scooby-Doo-ish. And I feel like when you sit here and watch, you know, Scream 3, it was a lot of comedy in there. And this is probably my least watched Scream out the franchise. Uh, it, it, you know, the characters and everything were just, I, I couldn't get, you know, invested in the tone of it. You know, I couldn't get invested in the tone of it. Um, the opening kill, you know, with, with Cod and everything, that, it's, I don't know, guys. I just, I, Scream 3, it just, the pacing was off. Now, one thing that kind of picked it up for me, though, was the ending. I really do enjoy that Sydney and Roman you know, back and forth fight, uh, and I like the, you know, I kind of enjoyed the motive, I kind of enjoyed that motive, um, I thought it was cool, you know, seeing Sydney, you know, on a stab set, kind of replicating those scenes from, you know, um, Scream and everything, I think that is very cool, but I just didn't like the pace, it was too comedic, and it was a lot of, you know, missed opportunity in this film, with that, makes sense you know it's nothing wrong if you guys like it. i do enjoy roman though i do enjoy roman he was a great killer and um yeah i really enjoyed him so number six scream three all right you guys number five is scream five number five is scream five you all now with this it's kind of hard to even put this at five but it was just like i feel like radio silence was just getting our feet wet you know with um this franchise when they started you know they kind of having to pay west respect and then do their own movie and kind of build these characters up you know melissa barrera jenna ortega and, and you know chad and mandy but overall the thing that makes me you know not enjoy this so much was the killers now amber and richie don't get me wrong they're very cool but the motive it was pointless to me it was probably the weakest mo one of the weakest motives in the franchise it was just not there. Um, it felt a little bit rushed towards the end. I seen what they were trying to do, you know, kind of, you know, giving a hat tip to the original Scream. We're in Stu Mocker's house, and, you know, it's a lot of meta stuff going on. You got Mandy kind of, you know, replicating her um, Uncle Randy, and it was super cool, but it was just like Melissa Barrera, she lacked, you guys. She lacked in this role um sadly as sam but i still enjoyed her though you know this is this wasn't her best performance but she she got through it i kind of started enjoying her more towards the end um she started getting that final girl look i loved absolutely loved general ortega and this tara um but yeah you guys it was just you know it kind of felt weak and i feel like a lot of the characters were rushed you know like wes's character and i feel like it was just like just put together just for people to just be dead bodies at the end of the day they were just a body count you know i don't think that it was you know enough hey i'm starting to you know grow towards Liv mckenzie even with the killers you know it was kind of obvious it was like a little too obvious if that makes sense and i just feel like it was one of those films just the beginning you know it's like okay we were just starting up and now they're learning the cast that they have which we see in scream six because they freaking killed it but yeah scream five just has a lot of things that i just don't like um some of the stuff felt overdone it was a lot of cringy moments but um overall i do you know enjoy watching this film i can watch it you know over and, you know over throughout the year but it's just one of those films that i can't not you know put at a high tier on my list but i am so happy that they're introducing us to this new cast because i'm loving the core four you guys but um 
Number five, Scream 5. Number four is Scream 2. Fun fact, you guys, if you didn't know, this was I Like Scary's first Scream I've ever seen. My grandmother put me on to this, and this has probably one of the, you know, best openings, you know, scenes where, you know, uh, Jada, Pink, and getting killed, and Omar Epps. I, I remember just watching it. I was growing up, and then, you know, the popcorn scene, and Omar Epps goes into the uh, bathroom, and he gets stabbed, which I never got how Ghostface just aimed up that that buck 120 and, you know, put it right through the stall. But as a kid, I always wanted one of those stab costumes. They were so lucky in that theater. You guys were getting stab costumes, man. Well, I mean, I really appreciate it. But we were getting popcorn buckets and, you know, uh, 3D cups. They were getting full-blown ghost face costumes. So I just remember, I mainly like this for, you know, the opening kill. But I also, I, I liked... You know, a lot of people say they don't like, you know, Debbie Saw, Mrs. Loomis, and Mickey. I actually enjoy Mickey, man. That that final act, it was very different. That's how I kind of thought that uh, Scream 6 was going to play, like, on one of those, you know, because they had the stab musical involved, possibly, uh, played out like that. But I really enjoyed Mrs. Loomis, you know, just the fact that the mom went ape shit over her son. And it was just crazy. And she's just like an older lady doing this. And they were kind of trying to, you know, pepper little um freaking clues that you know she was here and there but it was a lot of scenes that kind of i didn't get you know when randy dies they said that that was mrs loomis but those was like a size 15 getting out that van uh it was a lot of stuff you know you could tell that that was filmed you know back in the 90s and stuff but i really did enjoy it you know that opening kill is everything i enjoy you know a lot of the scenes too you know with nev uh getting out the cop car with ghostface right there but mainly i loved you know, that final act, but the stuff that happened along the way was cool, you know, I under, I, I understand, you know, some films are just going to have stuff like this, where you got to kind of build the situation up, but it was too much of that, in my opinion, and there's a lot of cringy ass moments, man, Derek saying, I think I love you, I'm like, oh my, as a kid, I was even doing this, you guys, as a kid, I just didn't, that was cringe, it was, it was it's a lot of cringy stuff, I enjoyed, you know, when they're in a class, and everything talking about film it was a lot of little stuff i did enjoy i enjoyed the college stuff and oh my god the chase scenes the chase scenes were great I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie i still feel like radio silence did not capture that scream to chase scene feel but they're definitely trying they're getting there but yeah i mean you know it has a little bit of everything in scream to chase scenes i like the final act i enjoyed the killers it was very cool you know the opening scene so yeah you guys number four is scream two now number three it's Scream 4. I really enjoy Scream 4. Now, Scream 4 used to be my number two. It used to be my number two. I really enjoy. I love Jill. I love Kirby. Man, Kirby's probably one of my favorite characters in Scream. But um, I just love, the, you know, they kind of dived more deep into that, like, horror fanatic feel with Charlie. And they had, like, the club and everything. This kind of focused more on Courtney Cox, in my opinion. And I think the motive was... It was decent, you know, Jill just being, you know, jealous of Nev and wanting that fame and, you know, just going to the fullest extent. But mainly I love this film because of Jill, man. She was very, like, it was, she was psychotic, man. Just her injuring herself to just convince the, the, the police and everything, like, hey, I really did get attacked. I like Charlie, too, man. I like Charlie, and it was so crazy. You know, one of my favorite scenes was when... You know, he's talking to Kirby. When he's talking to Kirby, he's thinking he's going to get that kiss. And I'm like, damn, because I remember growing up just wanting him to kiss Hayden. We all know how I was with Hayden growing up. I'm like, damn. But I, I, I really did enjoy the final act, especially when we kind of push us towards the, towards the hospital with Jill and Sydney. She's like, who the fuck are you? Michael fucking Myers. And, you know, and Gail hits her with that clear and everything it was just a great ending man that was probably one of the most intense scream endings and just the fact that jill was a female just housing the whole scene like that you know housing the whole scene like that and i just think kirby brought a lot of energy also um i'm not too big on the you know the opening scene i mean open and kill but i do enjoy i really really do enjoy scream for the pacing is amazing um i like you know like i said how a lot of things played out with this i like how they elevated their characters and i'm not gonna lie i seen geo coming when i first seen scream 4 but i kind of didn't you know i, I start you know usually you can kind of people you know a, a killer 
and scream a little early. I kind of peep Gio later, you know, kind of like like real later. But I do really enjoy Scream 4. Like I said, it was my second favorite until my number two, you guys. And I'm super happy to announce this. My number two in my Scream franchise ranking is Scream 6, you guys. Yes, yeah, Scream 6. Um, I really do love this film, man. Uh, you know, it's by far, like I said, one of the best Screams. I feel very comfortable and confident putting this in my number two because i now just oh my god radio silence killed it i'm talking from general ortega mindy chad oh, sam was the mvp sam did it she made up for all that shit in screen five she is now top five final girls for me that is one of my favorite scenes in horror now when she's stabbing dermont all up in his fucking arms and shit and she takes them all oh my I cannot get over that scene. Seriously, I can I, I cannot get over that how it was shot and she kind of pushes the curtains open. It is iconic in my opinion. A lot of people don't dig the reveal of the killers. I don't know why. I'm not too big on Dermont. Um uh, maybe he'll grow me, but I actually did enjoy, you know, just I, I don't enjoy them separately if that makes sense, but I enjoy Ethan and Quinn just the thought that there were siblings. That's why I enjoy the reveal with Ethan and Queen is the thought they were siblings. And they did like the knife wipe. That a part of me likes the little knife wipe thing, but a part of me is like that's cringe. But I really enjoyed this film. Uh it's meta. Definitely one of the best opening kills in Scream history. Um, you know, with Tony Revolori and just how it's Ghostface versus Ghostface. And we get the reveal of Ghostface early. And I just really like this film. The pacing, it's a non-stop roller coaster. And it just had my hands super sweaty in the theaters. I was very, just very tensed in the theater watching this. Had a huge smile on my face with certain scenes. The build-up is amazing. And I really do dig the final act. I watched it so far twice, thinking about going to see it again. But I really do enjoy this film. This film is amazing. Big shout-out to Sam and General Ortega. Holy shit. Them as a duo is super crazy. Um, A lot of the one-liners in this... It's crazy, and just a lot of, like, the, the callbacks and the Easter eggs just makes this film perfect. So, number two for me, I'm feeling very confident with that, Scream 6. Number one, you guys know, it is Scream 96, you guys. It's the original, and I'm going to tell you something. This right here is by far one of the best films in horror. You, go, you know, I think this, you know, people don't ever, you know, understand when people say this, but this really recreated horror in my opinion you know when scream hit hit you know out there in the community and you know us fans started watching it, it was a different feel it gave us that whodunit aspect has one of the freaking best just opening scenes in general in horror you know with drew barrymore um and it kind of just showed you that we we're thinking that drew barrymore is going to see her as a big name on you know, charlie's angels and stuff like that and she's going to push through the film she dies in the beginning of the film also one of the best final acts we get matthew lillard and billy lomas the reveal is crazy i'm not going to lie and say i didn't know billy lomas was the killer i did early especially when they're in the hall him and sydney but it's just executed for a horror fan this is a perfect film i will always say if you want to introduce somebody into horror i would say go scream you know, 96 because it covers everything and it has my favorite film inserted in it. And they're praising it. Halloween 78 is very cool. I love the end of the act. We can introduce to my second favorite final girl of all time, Sydney Prescott. And it's just amazing the way it shot the final act, just the build up, the and you know, with the character development. It just really felt like you were in that story, you know, with Scream 96, in my opinion. But yeah, you guys, that is my scream franchise ranking you all comment down below comment down below your ranking but unfortunately this is the end of the video don't forget to hit me on my social media i like screen on instagram i like screen 77 on tiktok right on facebook i like screen on twitter and yeah you guys right there where it says subscribe next to a click join become a member of the channel also check out the patreon to get exclusive content and benefits of the channel and yeah you all watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all peace